special day. We are going to do a weapon tier list. I've done one uh, tier list already about three, almost four years ago. However, we have gotten some new weapons, so this is going to be an updated weapon tier list in Last and Earth Survival. So how about we begin this tier list right now? Hopefully, I haven't missed here any weapons. If I have missed any weapons, I apologize. I have double, triple, maybe even quadruple checked everything here. And yeah, actually, I have forgotten to add the zip gun, so I had to add it. <laughs> and there were probably some other weapons that I forgot to add, but hey, I hopefully I've added all of them here. And let's begin. You can kind of even see the explanation here on how these tier lists are going to go. But yeah, let's say we're going to begin with something very simple like a crowbar. Crowbar. <laughs> crowbar. Like a crowbar. It is S tier because it is a very common weapon. It is very easy to craft. And in my opinion, it is the best melee weapon for beginners so it does go into this s tier maybe some people put it somewhere else uh, somewhere else maybe a tier but i do believe it goes in s tier as it's a very nice a uh, nice nice melee weapon and now let's do something quite opposite from s let's find a weapon that'll go to d tier where is our good old bow there we go boom the sadly bow goes into d tier because it is one of the worst weapons in the game if not the worst weapon it doesn't do anything it is it's not even that cheap Back in the days, it used to damage Frenzy Giants, so you could shoot those Frenzy Giants down with these bows. But now, Frenzy Giants have a lot of defense, a lot of armor against like those bows, and that's it. So that's why bows go into D tier. I think Glocks go into S tier, as they are very common. And you don't even have to mod them, they never miss. I think Glocks are very amazing, that's why they go to S tier. And... Uh, so far, everything goes into S or D tier. How about we get this minigun? I think minigun is just like mid, I guess at best. But at the same time, it is awesome. I don't know, I'm so far torn between A and B tier for the minigun because it is a nice weapon. You can use it at bunker alpha to kill frenzy giants if you want to, if you don't want to wall trick them. But other than that, you're not really gonna use the minigun anywhere else as it just slows you down so i think b is kind of fair maybe later on we will move it somewhere else so now let's get the guitar i think it's it's still usable uh, i don't know i haven't used the guitar <laughs> i don't think i've ever used the guitar as a mellow weapon you could probably wall trick with it right so that's all i'll say you can wall trick with the guitar so it is going to be usable usable like all of these weapons that go into c tier all of them are going to be usable. And first of all, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments. There will be timestamps. Now, welcome, welcome, everybody. And uh, we're going to continue with our tier list. Hammer. I mean, I'd, I'd say it's very bad. I don't like using hammers as, 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 as melee weapons. I think they're pretty goop. So I'd rather not use them. Even wall tricking with these hammers isn't that good. I'd rather use a spear. So spear, speaking of spear, spear is going to be C tier. It is still usable. Same thing. Actually, the... Wait, not the same thing. I think the road sign... I would maybe even put it in awesome. I don't even know. Whatever, B tier. It feels like we need more tiers. However, let's put the road sign... Uh, then, obviously, also, I think I have to mention that all of these melee weapons are not being compared to guns. Just because a melee weapon is higher than a gun doesn't mean that that gun is worse. Like, think of it as melee weapons are compared to melee weapons and guns are compared to guns. As I didn't want to make two tier lists, like making a tier list for melee weapons and making a tier list for guns. So both of these tier lists are just like in one, but compare melee weapons to melee weapons and guns to guns. Uh, and yeah, now let's try to do something. Where is Equalizer? We do have the Equalizer. Equalizer is here. We have all the melee weapons. Okay, speaking of the Equalizer, I think it's an awesome weapon because it is rare and you need those weapons to clear uh, the hard mode laboratory. Plus, you need some of these weapons to do some stuff at the transport hub. So I believe that all of these Genesis weapons will go into S tier. And yeah, Resonator being the last one. Also, we have the... Oh, no, there's the pistol. There's got to be this pistol. There we go. Let's add it. And I'm going to rank them. Okay, so this one goes there. Uh, then this. Then probably shoddy. Those. And yeah, that's how I'd rank them. From best to worst Genesis weapons. Maybe you can swap some of them here and there. But that's how I'd keep them. Now. Uh, this torch. Have I ever wall tricked with this torch? I don't think so. So it probably goes to D tier as well. However, it's still probably better than, <laughs> than the bow. I'm just gonna diss this bow throughout this entire tier list. Okay, now we need more things to do. A uh, zip gun. A zip gun. Is it still usable? I think we can put zip gun in the C tier. That's kind of fair enough. 
let's keep it over the Zipgun F tier. Worst thing in last in the history. Actually, not. You know what? Zipgun is better than, than a bow. So, I mean, honestly, it goes there. Where's flare gun? Wait, there has to be a flare gun. I did add the... I remember. I distinctly remember adding a flare gun here. Well, it doesn't exist here. That is sad. But, however, I did add a flare gun. For some reason, it's not here. But I do remember adding one. Well, somehow, Sway didn't load up in these pictures. Well, whatever then. Okay, let's add now this pipe. Now I'm thinking, where do we add it? I mean, it's not as good. It, it cannot go in the S tier, so it probably goes in the A tier. There we go, whatever. Let's add this pipe in the A tier. Because I think it's awesome. Same thing with the cleaver. It goes into A tier. Now I'm debating with the shovel. I think shovel is very nice for wall tricking. However, does it deserve to be an S tier? I don't think so. So I think the shovel is going to go into A tier because it's a nice melee weapon, but it's not as good as the crowbar. However, in my free-to-play account, I started using shovels a lot more because you can wall trick a lot faster. The You can wall trick with the shovel and do 26 damage when with the crowbar, you can do only 16 or something damage. So you do 10 more damage with the... with the... with the... with the shovel. They say so shovel S tier. Mm, it's not as good. The S tier has to be very unique and very great. I mean... Mm, I don't know, maybe, 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 whatever. Let's keep it there for now. Then we'll see. We have this Dissolver. I don't even know if a lot of people know about this Dissolver, but hey, they've added it to the game. And I don't know how many people even have it. You could obtain it from the laboratory. I don't even know if it's possible to still get it from the laboratory. So that's it. That's where it stays here. And uh, then we have a Katana. Katana is great. But again, the point is with these tier lists, like, people just look at DPS, like, oh, the this gun is strong, that means it's gotta be S tier, but we're also talking about rarity. However, I think Katana is gonna be the best, because you don't need to have any mods for it, even though it is rare, it's not that common, however, it is one of the best melee weapons in the game, so it definitely goes there. Machete is also great. Does it still, does it go in the S tier, whatever, let's keep it for now, I really wanna put it in the A tier, just because... Just because it's a machete. It's pretty expensive. If you get it for free, it's nice. But if you have to craft it, it is a little bit expensive. Now we have some other melee weapons like these golf clubs. We have this thing. Then we have this and a baseball bat. All these melee weapons that we've just added here, the plank, the baseball bat, uh, they're pretty decent to wall trick with. But other than that, they're not that amazing. So that's why, why I'll put them there. We have this crossbow. I think it is still usable. It's not that bad. I'm even considering putting it in mid-tier. It doesn't have a lot of durability, but it is better than all these other weapons. So I'm going to put the crossbow in B-tier. I don't think anybody expected seeing crossbow in the B-tier, but I think that's where it belongs. Why Cleaver not in S-tier? Because it's not S-tier. Unless you put mods on it, but the it's still it's A-tier. And uh, VSS... It is a great weapon, but it is very rare, so there's no way, no shot it's going in the S tier, so let's put it in the A tier. Uh, then we have an M16. I mean, it's a gun. However, it is very bad. Unmodded M16 is pretty bad. So, I don't know, I either want to put it in B tier or in A tier, because M16 is one of the worst, not the worst firearm, but like one of the worst firearms same thing with uzi like if you do not mod them they're pretty bad as they miss a lot however yeah it's an m16 it misses a lot it's s tier all s tier all right boomers uh, then we have the skull crusher which is a great weapon it is expensive but it is nice to sneak attack zombies with so i'd put it like but yeah, i want to put it a tier Whatever, I'm adding the Skull Crusher in the A tier. There we go. It is a nice melee weapon. Same thing with the uh, with the saw blade mace. You can sneak attack those zombies. They're pretty unique, as there are only like two melee weapons like that that do an insane amount of damage. The saw blade mace does like what 55 damage, and the Skull Crusher does 45 damage. So both of these weapons are great. I think they deserve to be in A tier. We have the slasher, which is probably a strong weapon, but they're very rare. So I'm, I don't even want to put it in B tier because it is extremely rare. However, I do have some of them. You do get them in the season passes. But it is going to go B tier probably. 
because it's just rare. I don't know. For now, it stays there. I, d I haven't really used it that much, but I think it goes B tier. I don't even know how it's called. I'm pretty sure it's just called Slasher. Then we have this battle that goes over there. And then we have this Guandao that's like extremely rare. You get it like only once, probably a year or something. And that's pretty much it. Then we have the Scythe, which is also great. I think we can put it in A tier with these uh, near the Sawblade Maces. There we go. Just because it's a bit more rare than a Sawblade Mace, so it's going to go after it. Uh, we have this Harpoon, which isn't bad. So I'm still going to put it in B tier. It's not C tier. I think it deserves to be in B tier. Scythe, A tier for high sneak damage. Yes, indeed, Scythe does go in the A tier. Um, then we have a Grenade Launcher. I think it's a unique weapon, even though it's pretty rare, but it is very unique, so it deserves to be in S tier. Then we have a Scar, which is like kind of complicated to put. Like if It is the strongest probably like, gun in the game. However... Whatever, I'm just going to put it in S tier. Yeah, whatever. We cannot compare Scar to these other guns that I've just put there. So it has to go in S tier as... Even though it is very rare, but it has to go in S tier because it is the strongest firearm in the game. Uh, then we have this Flamethrower that goes in the D tier. Right after this Dissolver, as it's also kind of horrible. Scar A tier while AK S tier. I don't know, we'll see. We have now... Whatever, speaking of AKs, let's decide where do we put that AK. It's kind of complicated. AKs are great. Even unmodded AKs don't miss that much compared to M16s. So I think that's where this AK belongs. I think it belongs after Scar and S tier. These are going to be S tier weapons and... All the weapons up the top are going to be great even without mods. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. AK at definitely S tier. Yeah, I'm going to keep it at S tier. Then we'll see. Maybe I'll move some things around. Shotgun also S tier. You don't need to mod it. It is relatively common-ish. And it's, it's already great. So let's keep that shotgun at S tier. Then we have the revolver. Which B tier. I don't think we have to explain much about the revolvers. They aren't very common. However, when you get them, you can still use them to pop, like, whatever random zombies or something. So, yeah, it goes B tier. Then Winchester. I don't like the Winchester. The Winchester is, like, zip gun quality. I think it's C tier. If you guys... Some of you said that Winchester goes into B tier. I don't know. I feel like Winchester is worse than the Revolver. Then we have the Landmine, which is very rare. However, it is... It is usable at the at the at the police department if you want to do 99 waves. So I think we're going to put the mine at the A tier. Might also go B tier, but because it's just just that rare. However, let's keep it at A tier. Same thing goes with grenades. They're just great. They're unique. Actually, maybe grenades should go to S tier because they are very unique and all these things are just very unique and there's nothing else like it. Yeah, I'll say grenades just because grenades are more common and landmines go A tier because you can use grenades almost anywhere. But mines are... It's easier to waste a mine probably than to waste a grenade. I don't know, whatever. Let's keep it like that for now. And now we have one more weapon left. And that is the Dragunov. And it's been added to the game quite recently. So... If you mod this weapon fully, it will be stronger than Scar. However, getting mods is extremely difficult. This weapon is extremely rare. So there's... Even though it's very unique... Kind of... Is it unique? There's no way it goes into S tier. I'm thinking putting it in A tier. I don't... It's a good weapon. You get like three of those. <laughs> That's it. You can get like probably ten of them per year or something like that. So they're very... So they're very, very difficult to get. I know, I want to put them A or B tier. That's where I want to keep the Dragunov. However, maybe pay to win tier, Dragunov pay to win tier, maybe. Maybe Dragunov just has to stay here and has its own tier. Maybe. So yeah, I'm still thinking about the Dragunov where to put it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll see some nice comments in the in the chat. Just use the ultimatum. That is true. Ultimatum is better. So yeah, for now it's B tier. That's it. The Dragunov goes B tier. For now, guys. So yeah, are there any other weapons? Bump up the flamethrower to see because it's really good for cleaning up rad zombies. It saved me lots of guns and I would recommend it for anyone to try it. I disagree with that. It stays D tier. Do you guys have any other weapons that you'd like me to move around here? What about the brutalizer? We don't have the brutalizer here. And also the flare gun. I'd probably put the flare gun at A tier. Flare gun is a nice weapon. 
A or B tier, that's where Flare Gun would go. For some reason, there was a... There was no Flare Gun. I don't know what happened to Flare Gun, ladies and gentlemen. Flare Gun just disappeared. Road Sign C. Is it really C? It, it does 30 damage. It's nice to wall trick with. I mean, we can... I can put it here at the end, but I still don't think the Road Sign has to go to C tier. I think it's better than all of the melee weapons in the C tier. Their hands are obviously S tier. They're infinite. Plank board to D tier for being overpriced. Spear. I actually... But at the same time, you can get three of those. If you are not crafting it, you can get a free board. So that's why it still probably stays in C tier. Because if you get it for free, like all of these weapons, if you get them for free, you can wall trick with them quite easily. That's why these uh, weapons are nice. Still usable. Uh, nice to wall trick. There we go. We can add this one. First easy S tier. Oh, fists are easy S tier. Yep. Zip gun S tier. Zip gun S tier. Golf clubs are uh, like crowbars practically. Golf, except you cannot craft golf clubs. That's the problem. You can only craft crowbars. That's why crowbars are great and you have to find golf clubs. Are you considering mods too? It depends how difficult. I mean, for example, a modded Uzi is going to be great weapon it's gonna be s tier however you need to find all the mods for uzi so it doesn't go into s tier hatchets and pickaxes i don't think they're uh, they're considered melee weapons i wouldn't consider them spears s tier especially in raid base mm, i'm not really the person that uses spear so they'll still say stay c tier they won't go to s tier m16 s tier i kindly disagree with that too many variables too many variables indeed. So I think that's how we're gonna keep it. I'm also thinking about Dragunov to C tier. I'll keep it mid, mid. Whatever, let's keep it mid. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. So this was my tier list. Maybe some of the things could go up, could go down. If you disagree with some of these changes, let me know that in the comments down below. But this is how I would rate Last and Earth weapons in 2023. Oh, you cannot see the M16 because of the head there. Okay, let's go here then. So yeah, that's it. That's the tier list. If you want to do some changes, let me know in the comments down below. But that's what... And that's how I would rate them. Yeah, that's pretty decent. I think I'm happy with what I see here. And let's probably compare it to my old tier list that I've done almost four years ago. Let's go here and let's go on YouTube real quick. And let's see how I rated those weapons last time. I'm pretty sure now there are many more weapons in S tier. LDOE, Cyric, tier list. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the tier list that I've done uh, four years ago looks different. As it has Questions out of the way. At the end. All right, I think this is it. This will be my tier list from 2019 or something. Except instead of S tier, I had triple A tier. So these are the guns that I had there last time. I put M16 into B tier. Seems fair enough. I also put Scar into B tier. Now Scar is in S tier because I think that Scar is pretty strong even if you don't mod it, even though it's very rare. But it's pretty unique. Same thing with the AK. And uh, yeah, the zip gun went, uh, not the zip gun, but the flare gun went to B tier. So that was my tier list from 2019. And to be honest, I still agree with it. Like, I still agree with my tier list from 2019. It's the same. Like, it just depends how you look at it. If you think that Scar is great, then it goes S tier. However, you're going to have only three Scars in your entire lifetime. So good luck. And uh, yeah, they're pretty rare. So that's why they're B tier. I still agree with this tier list. And the new tier list is is banging as well. It's just a different tier list, maybe with different criteria or whatever. This is our new tier list. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. And it's time for us to buckle up. And we time for us to get ready for the first raid of the day. Could you give us to the link for the tier list? I don't know if it's there. I made that tier list myself. I had to get all of those icons. But I think it should be on tier list maker. I called it a last on earth weapon tier list 2023. So it should be there. You should still be able to do those tier lists on your own. If that stuff is public, maybe it's private. I don't know. 
However, we got some raids to do. All right, ladies and gents, let's talk now to the raiders. Crater revision. No, we're not going to go to crater. Stop it. Don't even speak about the crater. Uh, scars are great weapons, strong, but really misses when they're not modded. Uh, they're very rare. The biggest problem with scars is they're very rare, so it's kind of pointless to even mod them. How many scars you'll get in your entire lifetime? Three. That's it. That's the biggest problem with those scars. And they can go either way. S tier or D tier. It depends. However, putting scars in D tier feels kind of weird. Because they are pretty strong. So there's that. Also, we need to raise three doggos and then we have to clear the second floor. So after we are done clearing it, maybe we're even going to open up a floppy crate. And that's it. And then we can do a raid, ladies and gents. So how about we raise three doggos? We got this gooper. We got one more gooper and uh, one more gooper. There we go. Let's raise those and let's try to breed them because why not? We are here already. Um... This, these are the bloodhounds, whatever. Uh, gooper. Beautiful. And then we got one more doggo here. Oliver. Jamie Oliver, huh? Gooper. That's what the doggo is. I can confirm that the list is public on tier maker for people. All right, then that's great. Then you should be able, guys, to access that tier list then yourself and you can do your own tier list. All right. Now, um, the second floor of Bunker Alpha. Are we going to go in hard mode or in basic mode? Probably let's go in normal mode because the new season has started. I don't think we, I've even mentioned that. But hey, guys, new season is here. We have only 18 days. Whoa, when it came out, it was 21 days. Now it's 18 days. The time just flies by. But yeah, let's try to progress here as far as we can. So let's probably clear the second floor normally. Because, yeah, I'd like to still reach a level, whatever, 80. As at level 80, we can get another Dragunov and I can get one more Dragunov blueprint. Because that's like a unique reward and I might as well try to get it. Even though it's kind of pointless, but hey. Let's try to do it. Mm, do we need anything else? Wait, I need the second floor. Maybe I'll even get a grenade launcher just because why not? We're not clearing the second floor to be efficient. We're clearing it just for the sake of clearing it for entertainment, not for not for resource purposes. If you want to know resource purposes, make sure to rewatch my free-to-play videos. That's it. I think that's enough weapons for the second floor. That's more than enough. And yet I'm grabbing more. I say it's enough, and yet I keep taking more. More and more. Congrats on finally getting two raids. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys seen the previous video that I posted, we have gotten two awesome raids uh, back to back. The first raid was okay, but then we got two more awesome raids back to back. We got a bunch of guns and other stuff. So, yeah. No, we didn't actually get a bunch of guns. We got a bunch of meds. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those raids were epic. Those raids get my approval. How about we get another stack of first aid kits? Let's also not forget 150 yellow coupons. And we can go take spears because why not? Uh, what am I going to do with those spears there? Will you play GeoGuessr? Perhaps at the end of the live stream, but we'll see. Do you know how many more free-to-play videos are you going to do? Actually, we can, like, upload 1,000 free-to-play videos. It just depends, guys, if you want to... S what you want to see. Like, I can upload another video where I just clear Bun Alpha, and that's it. And I can do that 1,000 times, as I've already done in the past. Like, would you want to watch it? Because I wouldn't. Because I think it's kind of garbage. So that's why there aren't a lot of free-to-play videos. There's nothing else left for me to do there. It's just... Bunk corral for clearing. That's all we have to do there. Uh, rest stop. Do we go to the rest stop? Yeah, probably. Let's go for it. Let's go to the rest stop. And at the same time, it's not even true. Like, the free-to-play videos, the views on the free-to-play videos are dropping because there's nothing else to see there. People don't want to watch it. So even though some of you here might be like, oh, I'd like to watch it, but majority of you wouldn't. So that's why we don't have a lot of free-to-play videos. However, there might be free-to-play live streams. 
It's just there's one more free-to-play video that I have to release, and then after that, expect some uh, free-to-play live stream. The guy says, I can see you. He's nice. He said, hey, I can see you. He waved to me. And yet here I am attacking him. I'm shooting them first. My character is a terrible human being. However, we cleared this rest up event. Now let's get the loot. Oh, nails are not bad. Do free to play commune. I've already done that. It's pretty bad. The commune event is the worst event in the game. Okay, let's get this. And wait, is that it? Have I cleared the entire rest? Okay, here we've gotten a zip gun and some aluminum. So yeah, this rest up event is still great. Like we've gotten a Glock and plus a zip gun and a red coupon. All right, let's get down from this place. And now let's go to the bunker alpha. We got to go there and clear the second floor. Which emulator do you use? I use Mimo player. You can use whatever emulator you want. I've just been using Mimo player for a long time and that's what I'll probably stick to. Communist paid to win. I don't even know if Commune is pay to win. Commune is just bad. Commune is a pretty horrible event. Do the settlement, please. Maybe today we're going to do the settlement event. Why not? We might do the settlement event. We haven't done the settlement event on this account for, like, what, months? So how about we do it today? We also have the laboratory event, but I've cleared the laboratory many times as well. It's not that... Mm, we'll see. Maybe we'll do the laboratory. I'll think about it. Are you going to post the weapon tier list on Discord? No. More Sunken Land when? Probably tomorrow. There will be another live stream of Sunken Land. I'm excited for tomorrow's live stream. More excited than last than Earth. Hell yeah! It's Sunken Land, brother. See, I'm excited to play some Sunken Land. And 98491 says, Matthew, if you lied to me, 984, I'll be very upset. 98491. That worked! Thanks, Matthew! Thanks! I thought you completely bamboozled me. I was like 99% sure that you bamboozled me. I think it's the first time you gave me the right password here. Thank you. And I didn't get enough yellow coupons. Actually, we do have 50 of those. So let's get them and then we will get the floppy crate. Absolutely. It's like, do you play horror games? I have played a decent amount of horror games here on the channel. We have played through all Resident Evil games. We have played some probably other horror games. I would never, says Matthew. Of course you would never. Tell me the right password till today. Uh, now, when are you going to do a tier list of every weapon mod? That's a real question, says Copper Tuna. I have made already a video where I explain everything about the weapon mods there is to explain and showing all the best weapon mods maybe we'll do it maybe i'll redo that video again where i just talk about all the weapon mods maybe i'll do it maybe i won't whoa i almost started the hard mode whoa that would have been bad okay let's give this dude 50 of these guys 50 yellow coupons let's add this floppy crate mm -hmm. and we're gonna open up that floppy crate once once we are done with the second floor, post Resident Evil 2 Remake uh, hard mode videos. I have already played through Resident Evil 2. Through both stories, through Leon's story and through Claire's story. So make sure to check that out. Uh, third floor. Um, no, actually, we need to go to the second floor. Does Mimo Player work with Apple iPhone? Apple iPhone. <laughs> Apple iPhone from Tim Cook. From Team Apple. Uh, it works if you go to settings and you connect your account to... I almost said Apple ID. If, if, when you connect it to your Kefir ID here, click and connect. And you should be able to play on Android devices as well. Because Mimo, Mimo Player is an Android device. It's an Android emulator. Hard mode. No, no, we're not going to do it in hard mode because it's a new season. And I kind of want to level up, so if raiders want me to clear the second floor again, I'd rather clear it in hard mode. <coughs> Something stuck in my throat. Apologies. Getting uh, choked by air today. Not by water. But by air. Doesn't mean we play or lag. I mean, just check it out yourself. 
Every time I mention an emulator, then I get a bunch of questions about that Mimu player. Guys, most of them are the same. Most of the people won't see the difference between any of those emulators. Just get whichever emulator you prefer and use it. That's it. They're all mostly the same. I miss Days Gone. This is Anjana. I miss Days Gone as well. You know what? I actually want to make a poll right now about Days Gone. I want to replay Days Gone. However, I tried to... It's weird to say this because, like, I try to try out new things, and yet here I am playing Last on Earth for six years. However, I want to try out, like, different games on the channel. And uh, replaying Days Gone is awesome. I want to replay Days Gone. However, I've already played Days Gone. So that's, like, one of the reasons why I don't want to replay it, because I've already played it. So is there a reason to replay it? However, I really want to play it. And I don't know if there is enough of you that would be interested in another Days Gone playthrough. Probably I'd do that playthrough on... Uh, during live streams, because why not? That way at least I'll be able to finish that Days Gone. The Evil Within. I have played The Evil Within. Believe it or not, I have played The Evil Within. Except... For, uh, a really long time ago. And I don't think those videos are on the channel. We play all the games that have days in their name. Wait, there is only Days Gone. I don't know what other games have days in them. Last Day on Earth. Hmm. But Last Day on Earth is not days. It's like, have you ever done series on The Last of Us 2? Okay, I haven't played The Last of Us 2 because I don't have a PS5. Days Gone story still haunts me in my dreams. I mean, it's a good story. It's a, it's a nice story, so I don't know how can it haunt you in your dreams. Unless you're having nice dreams. So yeah, I would like to play Days Gone again. Last on Earth is simple. That's what we grind last on Earth. And Days Gone is fun. And that's why I want to replay Days Gone. Maybe I, maybe I should replay it. Doesn't matter that I've already played it. We can still replay it again, right? We can do it, ladies and gentlemen. We can absolutely do it. All right, let's deal with these toxic spitters. The Last of Us 2 is awesome. I don't know. I haven't played it. From what I've heard, I wouldn't like it. So that's why I haven't really played it. If I really, really wanted it, maybe I would have played it on the PS4. Last of Us is unoptimized for PC. It lags sometimes. Maybe. If you could bring back one map, what would it be? What do you mean one map in Last and Earth? It's not like they have removed a lot of maps. They've only... If we consider the Red Forest as a map, they've only removed the Red Forest. I don't know what other maps we're talking about. Seven Days to Die has days in it, says Matthew. Hmm, that's fair. However, we are gonna probably play Seven Days to Die again someday. I mean, Seven Days to Die is is almost an iconic survival game. When you think of survival games, you'll remember Minecraft and probably Seven Days to Die. And Last on Earth, sire. Yes, and Last on Earth. So, we might actually play some Seven Days to Die again one day. Play Cyberpunk 2077. 2020. 2020 <laughs> 2077 Phantom Liberty. Uh, maybe... I have a controversial topic. So, they released Cyberpunk 2.0, right? And I played Cyberpunk since the first day when it came out. And uh, I played Cyberpunk 2.0. It's the same game. It's the same game. It looks the same for me. It's nothing. Nothing has really changed. Like, maybe some people have less bugs now. But again, I haven't even seen lots of bugs in, in Cyberpunk when it came out. So there's that. There's my hot topic. A lot of people are hyped for the... Were hyped for the Cyberpunk 2.0. Oh, that's the game. It was supposed to be released like this. It's amazing. It's great. And I tried playing it. And I'm like, it's still Cyberpunk. It's still the same game. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I just don't care about the bugs as much. I don't know. It is what it is. And yeah, I don't know much about Phantom Liberty. I haven't played it. What happened to the favorite Scum Survival, Cyric? There will be more Scum Survival. I've answered that question already many times. 
I don't like mech robots. And I kind of don't want to disable them because... Every time I disable them, people will say, Oh, sorry, this place is supposed to have mech robots. And I'm like, yes, it does. So maybe I shouldn't have disabled those mech robots. But I kind of don't want to play it when there are mech robots. And... Uh, and yeah, I don't want to go to those new bunkers. So that's the main reason why there aren't any more scum survival videos. But there will be more in the future. I'll figure it out. I'll just probably disable the mech robots and that's it. And I'll be able to enjoy scum survival again. They made Spider-Man 2 exclusive to PS5. Weren't all Spider-Mans like exclusive to PS5 or something? Perhaps. I got a grenade launcher, but I haven't used it. Okay. When is the next for you play? Uh, soon, in the next like few days, I guess. Does Mimu player give you a virus? I have no idea, mate. I'm not telling you to get it. I'm not telling you to get Mimu player. Get whatever one you want. Get whatever, whichever emulator you want. Aren't all Sony games exclusive? Sony games exclusive to PlayStation. Wait, isn't God of War Sony game and it's ported to PC? They're porting now more games to PC. A lot of the games are still PS5 or whatever exclusives, but they are being ported to PC. Advice Simulator, says Matthew. Yes. Welcome to Hepisark Advice Simulator. Where I give you all of my advice is about... Can I take it? There we go. About... About Mimo Player. Okay, that is done. How about we go and open up now the floppy crate the second floor is cleared and we can go for the first raid of the day and then maybe we'll go to the to the whatever to the commune event i forgot the name of it the last of us one pc port yeah there's also the last of us pc port the infected box stop it guys if i get an infected box i'll be very angry very upset and the transport hub. We haven't cleared the transport hub actually in a while. When was the last time I've cleared it? Like a few weeks ago, maybe. Over a week ago, for sure. That's all I have to say. Definitely over a week. It's like, when is the next The Front video? I don't think there will be more The Front videos. Uh, there weren't enough people that wanted me to continue with the game, so I don't think there will be more The Front videos. However, the main point of the front was to just, hey, show you guys that hey, there's a new The Front game. New survival game, and that's it. We don't necessarily have to make a thousand videos on that game. Okay, let's go now to the... Whatever the thing is called. The airdrop, I forgot it. Now, I'm gonna make another poll. Uh... Uh, I want to make a poll here. Uh, this, this. There we go, we have a poll here, ready. About day is gone. I'm just kind of curious, infected. Guys, stop it with the infected! If we get the infected crate, I'm leaving it there. I'm, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in my base and it'll just despawn. We will do an experiment. How long do I have to stare at that crate until it depops and disappears? No, we got it! We actually got it, it is your fault. It is absolutely your fault. Boomers, it is your fault. Boomers. 
It is absolutely your fault. I said we're gonna delete this infected floppy crate. We're gonna we're gonna just delete it. Because I don't want can we actually delete it? No, we cannot even drag it. We cannot do anything with it. Unbelievable. How about we skedaddle? Sorry, sad equals audience happy. Yeah, I'm kind of starting to see that. Just open it. It still has some loot, says Carl. Nah, that's it, guys. We're going to despawn this crate. You asked for it. Your day is ruined. You can admit it. My day is ruined. I do admit it. Ban all those calling for infected crates, says Matthew. But you were the first one who started calling for infected crates. You started it. The sheer amount of happiness chat felt. Yeah, absolutely. When chat is happy, Sayak is sad. When Sayak is sad, chat is happy. How is that possible? I have no idea. Let us see what's the, what loot it has. Come on. Nah, nah, guys. We're not opening it up. Actually, maybe let's do something risky. I'll take it. And I'll drop it on the ground. If it despawns, it's not my fault. All right? How about that? I'll like drop it here. And I go quickly empty my acid bath. Now, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to open it up. I know the dude just spawned. So, yeah, for those who don't know, once you drop this thing on the ground, it will start spawning zombies. <laughs> See, I'm not going to despawn it. I will open it. However, I'm disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted. Uh, let's add... These, the, the, the nails. Where do we drop the nails? And that's it. I remembered where I keep my nails. That's awesome. Let's drop that here. And now we need to clear the acid bath. When is the next season? It has just started. Like, it's season 47 now. I don't know when will be season 48. In 18 days, probably. <laughs> Let's get all of that. How did I forget about the flare gun? I did get the flare gun. In the pictures there. Unbelievable. In the tier list. Wait, I want to double check it. I didn't add the flare gun, but it was there. I don't know, man. Unbelievable. However, we got more things that we need to drop. Let's drop all of those items here. It's like we must address your junk rack zone. The my junk rack is decent. Like I either drop some things off camera or I drop some things off camera from that crate occasionally once in a while so it doesn't it never gets full i have a solution for it ladies and gentlemen i'm not stupid once the junk rack gets full i'll either yeet some of that stuff from there or i'll move some of that stuff there to other things so little by little the junk rack is is still kicking and it's still all right make healing item to your list how many more tier lists will do? Yes. Maybe we will do the healing item tier list. How many healing items there are? Like 10? Probably less than 10 healing items. Have you seen the Halloween teaser update? What? Have they shown a new teaser? What? Am I being bamboozled here right now? Oh, wait. They just... They posted that yesterday and I haven't seen it yet for some reason. Okay, you know there are like different kind of people. Uh, some people on discords have like thousands of pings. I have zero pings. Like all of those pings must be read. So sometimes I'll just click read all. And I must have missed it that way. Okay, let's watch it then. I haven't seen it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to watch the teaser together for the first time. I haven't seen it yet. Kefir. All right. The dude is walking. And there are pumpkin people 
Carving human heads? Bruh. 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 What have I seen? Human... ...are being carved... ...by pumpkin people. <gasps> Actually, they're carving zombies there. In any case, nice teaser, amazing teaser. 10 out of 10 teaser. Beautiful teaser. This is the Halloween event. Yeah, probably that, that means the Halloween event is coming. Okay. That means Halloween event is coming. Let's complete this and let's go. Oh no, we are not going to the raid yet. We need to open up the floppy crate. I'm so lost at this point. The first person POV is cool. Absolutely. Uh, we need a little bit of acid, like three of acid and probably uh, two air filters. Let's get it. Actually, we needed only one of these air filters. Alrighty, let's open it up. And let's see what kind of goop we have gotten. We've gotten a grenade launcher, which is pretty decent. However, we couldn't even get the full armor set. Which is... Kind of goop. Okay, how about I drop... These things here for now. Now, let's try to sort out our inventory real quick. I'll just drop this goop here so that it's a lot faster. There we go. My junk crate is amazing. I love it. It saves me an absurd amount of time. That's it. We have just sorted out the inventory, ladies and gentlemen. And now you can clap. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, this thing is empty. Um, the acid bath, right, right. We got to bring stuff back to the acid bath. GG infected box. Yeah, we got in the whatever thing. Almost called it infected grenade launcher. We did get a grenade launcher from the infected crate, which is nice. I'll take it. Just two C4s and a grenade launcher. Another, other than that, goop. I mean, that's the whole point of these floppy crates. They don't really give anything else. Change bike skins. Bruh. We've just changed it to the pumpkin skin. We're not changing it anytime soon. It's just gonna stay as it is. Uh, we need a few hatchets. So how about we get some... There we go. And how about we craft some level 1 hatchets. And let's start rolling, ladies and gents. Two, three, four, and... Five. Mm, a C4. I haven't gotten a C4 and I didn't get the uh, blocks. I haven't gotten two Glocks. So time for us to get them picked up. There'll be enough. They're kind of broken. That's why we got more of them. I don't expect this raid to be great anyways. Let's be honest here. I've just gotten two great raids last time. So that will get another great raid now. Imagine we had mods for hatchets. I just realized that. Like a titanium axe head. That'd be cool. Titanium pickaxe. Hmm. Amazing. Did you know if you drink beer, you can pee in the game? Yes. I've just died from a frenzy giant while wall tricking. LMAO says LSD. It do be like that. Uh, MAT, that's the raid that we are doing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do a little bit of research. And let's begin the raid. Elderly raid mat. Let's see if it's a good raid, if it's a goop raid, or if it's a mid raid. Um, I think I know how to enter this base. 
It's good enough. We can go now to this base, ladies and gentlemen. What was your best raid ever, says Un Fazbar. I don't remember. Probably a raid that had a full inventory of guns. It's my base, says Matthew. <laughs> well, I hope then that it's good. Why don't you try to get rid of everything that has low durability? Saves lots of space. I don't have lots of items with low durability, but thank you for the information. Okay, how about we chop? Oops, cannot come through here. Can it come through here? Of course, that's gonna happen. Of course, that's gonna happen. Stop it! Just chop down the stupid wall. Okay. And there we go, that's the base. If I'm not mistaken, we're not gonna have any other chests here. However, let's chop this thing down. Just did the full laboratory for the first time. I'm so happy. The boss at the end seems easy when I watched it, but it wasn't actually. It just depends what kind of guns you have. If you have the good fully modded guns, then he is pretty easy. And if you have enough healing items, but if you don't have the right gear, then obviously it's going to be difficult. Everything is easier with a fully modded AK and and limited med kits. Um, nothing. Titanium axe and pickaxe. Maybe your wish will come true and devs will put that in the game. I don't know why would we need that, but hey. Why not? Give me a reason. Why not? Oh no, another raid. Eh, another wave of zombies. We have gotten some thick fabric. I'll bring that back to the base. I'll also bring some of that junk. Why not? Plus six brown cards. I'll take those. Um, I didn't use the AK. I'm not that rich. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It is more difficult to kill the boss with, uh, with, with, with other weapons. Okay, I'll get that goop. Some carrots. Some other food. I will take that. Whoops. And at the same time, we are killing these zombies here. And we are leveling up our season pass. Just little by little, ladies and gentlemen. The season pass gets leveled up. Okay, how about we open it up? We have got a bunch of planks. I don't think I have space in the base for those. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave them here. We have like probably 600 or something planks, if not more at the train, uh, at the, uh, whatever the, the second base is called. At our second base, I forgot the name of it. Settlement, right? At our settlement. So that's it. That's the raid, ladies and gentlemen. Does it get Sykes approval? I think I've seen worse raids. However, does it deserve Sykes approval? It was pretty sad. It did have planks, though. Whatever, I'll leave this one up to you if it gets Sykes approval or it doesn't. We should play the most realistic survival game. We played a lot of, like, kind of, like, realistic survival games. It depends what you mean realistic, by graphics or by... by whatever. One of the most atmospheric survival games that I've ever played was... was The Long Dark. Two point three out of ten raids a Scarlo. Yikes. Absolutely yikes. I just did this raid yesterday, says a uh, straw hat. Very nice. Congrats on the raid. Sad that it was goob though. Uh we're gonna craft some bandages. Oh no. Whatever, I'm just gonna drop these pieces of cloth here. And that's it. And I don't have to craft anything. This goes there. And... Goop. 
goes here, and that is it. We just have some guns now. Wait, let's pay the raiders, and maybe before we, like, sort out this inventory fully... I'll talk to the raiders instead. Um, where is a spear? We could probably give them a crowbar, but they're not going to be happy with the crowbar. They will be happy with the spear, however. Okay. Let's share that. And let's call them on the radio. Sorry, calling raiders. I assume that's what they hear when I call them on the radio. Actually, they are calling me. I'm just the one responding. Because every time you go on the radio, they just say that, Hey, low lives, blah, blah, blah. Who wants to raid? And I'm just there, like, who says yes. So I'm just like, psh, psh, yes. Okay, we need to kill five savage giants. So we got to go to the farm location, which is great. Farm location is another, is another nice place to level up your season pass. And that's what we are going to do. Okay, we have a melee weapon, we have two guns, and a bunch of other goop. Is that going to be enough for the farm location? Maybe. However, I'm going to get two more of those. The reason being is because I'm going to kill every zombie there, so I want to level up my season pass. And let's get one more set of armor. They're just broadcasting, it's not a phone. I mean, they're broadcasting, but I still have to, like, respond to that broadcast to say yes. So, I'm not really calling them on the radio, I'm responding to the raiders. So, for the six years, I've been saying it incorrectly all the time. Because we're not really calling them, we're just responding to their message. However, I'll still keep saying that I'll call them on the radio, because it's easier. Let's respond to the raider. Sounds wrong. They should make the same game, but with a story, says Ireland. All right. Uh, where is the farm? Okay, the farm location goes up here. Halloween teaser is up. We've just watched it like a few minutes ago. We have watched the teaser. And speaking of the poll that we've done about 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 the about Days Gone, maybe we will play some Days Gone later. I have no idea. We'll see. I'm still gonna think about it. The poll went about as I expected, and that's it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll wait. It went about almost like fifty fifty. That's all there is. Yeah, it almost went fifty fifty. Kinda. So, we'll see. Uh, let's just begin. I'm probably gonna get the minigun. Let's deal with this stupid rotten yokel. Okay, the savage giant just got stuck. For no reason. However... Savage Giant went to sleep. Okay, now we are at level 17. We just began level 18. So let's see how far we can level up by clearing the full farm location. Are, are 99 waves good for leveling up the season pass? Yes, those things are also great. So if you have enough weapons and if you plan to clear 99 waves, then you should probably do it now. As it's a nice way to level up your season pass. The game is crashing it again. Can you tell me why this is happening? I don't know how to have a slightest clue. Make sure to contact support, I guess, maybe, or wait until they fix the game. I have no idea. Somebody left a comment saying, like, Cyric, the game is still crashing. I still can't play the game and you're doing nothing. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't fix your game. I don't know why it's lagging for you. I'm sorry to hear that, but there's nothing I can do to fix the game. So, it is what it is. There is a hard mode in Days Gone, so it'll be kind of different, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um. Maybe, maybe. See, I'll still think about it. The poll went about 50-50. 50% of people wanted to play, uh, to re for me to play it. 50% didn't. 
So I know I'll think about days gone. It's a phenomenal game. But we'll see. If I'll be replaying it again. Okay, I'm probably gonna deal with these bulls and everybody. Why not? Okay, we just got raiders out of nowhere that attacked us. Okay. We got a free shovel, a free torch, a free melee weapon. Or buy an iOS device from what I've heard crashes only on Android, says Viraja. I mean, getting a phone just for last dinner seems kind of crazy, but I'm sure some people would do it. Do I need to even loot these bags? Wait, I have already gotten the barn key. Wait, so I can just go and open up that blue box and that's it. I don't need to do anything else. Hell yeah. And then all those zombies att will attack me at the same time and I'll just deal with them. Hello. Stupid Revenger. Come here. It's like it's not Revenger. It is Revenger. Never ever call it Revenger. It's legal. I dodged that spit. Because there's no tomorrow. There we go. We did it. We have dealt with this Revenger. Almost called him Ravager. I find myself calling him Ravager more and more often, which I'm not happy about that. Still waiting on a true friend, sad uh, smiley faces, Patrick. I mean, you can just go outside more often. Maybe you'll be able to find a friend. Finding friends and making friends is definitely difficult. But hey, good luck. It's like, I made a true friend dog go in last dinner. Well, I think it's easier to make a true friend IRL than making a friend... Uh, than getting a true friend doggo in the game. That's probably my opinion. Okay, let's open up this. Let's get another pooch. This, this. And now we got one more dude inside of this. Inside of this room. See, so yeah, to those that have joined for the tier list, I've already done the tier list at the very beginning of the live stream, so make sure to rewind to the beginning and you can watch the tier list there. Kefir should consult you for every new zombie before naming them, says Halim. You know what? I said many times already that I don't think that I know better than the devs, but I think I would be great at naming stuff. That's it. Ravager. What kind of a name is Ravager? It's Revenger. Revenger at least means something. Ravager. I know there's a word Ravage, so Ravager, like, it means... It means something, a dude that ravages, but like, it's lame. All right, Revenger on the other hand, it's a lot better. A Kefir one, yes. There's the big one, there's the blind one, and then there's the Kefir one. Okay, let's open this up. But why did you spit in your house though? Because it's exactly my house, that's why I spat here. Spat, spitted. In any case. Okay, let's drop the thing here. Let's get the sh shotgun. And my armor is gonna get destroyed here, so I better get another one. Spread shot. Whoops. I'm gonna get destroyed here with all these savage giants. 
That said, there were only a few of them. I probably killed already a bunch of these enemies. That's why there weren't a lot of them. And Garbo loot in 3 to 1. I mean, the loot in the farm location is great. It's not Garbo loot. It's not garbage loot. It's great loot. And yeah, we have gotten actually garbage this time. I mean, you still got an M16, right? You still get an M16. You get the Skull Crusher. Sadly, we didn't get any copper. I want to say that, hey, at least you get some copper and steel, but this time we didn't get any. So that is a little bit sad. However, it could have been worse. You still get an entire armor set. I still like this place. If you are a free-to-play player and kind of low level, I still think this place is amazing. So yeah, I'm going to bring these things. Let's bring that stuff back to the base. And let's probably get ready for another raid of the day. However, that still was a nice farm location. You still get a full set of armor, which if you're a newcomer, this place is nice. If you're level 209 and you want to get great loot here, then get a reality check. But as a free-to-play player, like let's say level 100 player or whatever, this place has really decent loot and I like it. I wasted 10 aluminum plates on face breaker, but it surprised me. It says summer, summer, summer ant. Okay. That's good. I'm glad that it surprised you. Is it possible to climb back up the ladder in the port sewers? No, it's not possible. If it has collapsed or if you died there, that's it. Everything is gone. So like I can't access the port lab for some reason. I have the story quest to make the drone. Why can't I access it? Uh, port laboratory. I have no idea. You need to do what the quest tells you to do. And if you can't still do it, then make sure to contact support. That's like the only advice that I can give right now. Okay, we're going to drop this broken armor. Because why not? We're going to release this doggo. Release the hounds. We release the hounds. Um, wait, what other tasks we need to do? So before I... Sort out my inventory, how about I just talk to the raiders? Okay, so we need to do this. We need to do an airdrop and get a C4 and craft five hatchets, which should be absolutely easy. Now, let's try to sort out this inventory. And maybe after this raid, we're going to go to the community event. I don't know why, but like, I feel like today's the day that I should visit it. It's a bad place. The community event is kind of bad. However, I still want to go there. I'll never learn my lesson. I'll always go to that community event and I'll always complain how goop it is. There are like, what, three guaranteed things in life. Taxes, death, and Sire complaining about the community event. Uh, community event is bet. The community event is actually bet. I agree. Oh yeah, we need the five hatchets. I don't even have them. And I need to craft them anyways for the raider's tasks. For the raider's task. You got the point. Let's get this. Let's craft five hatchets. One, two, three, four, five. What is better? AR or AK-47 and Lysander? Do you mean the M16? AR. Isn't AR like assault rifle? That's what it stands for. So is what's better? AR? AR or AK? It's like, what's better? Assault rifle or AK? I'm kind of lost by your question, mate.
uh, hey. this stuff. Where is it? C4. Let's get a C4. And that is it. Let's go for the right number two of the day. And Jimko Moto. Thanks for the super chat. Sorry for butchering your name. Welcome to the stream. Boss C. How long did you grind for those walls? Thanks, mate, uh, for the super chat. Thanks for supporting the channel. And um, a long time, six years, let's say. Took a really long time to get all these walls. Again, it's not like I started building level 5 walls right away. And I didn't go for for the walls at the very edge. As... Uh, why? There's just too many resources. Even like this base has too many walls. Like all of these things here probably shouldn't be in the walls. These things here. Like the only stuff that should be behind the walls are the chests. Like everything else is like a bonus. So that's like pretty much it. Took me a long time to get them. At first I started from like level 1, level 2, then level 3 walls, then level 4 walls, and then when level 5 walls came out I started building level 5 walls. To be honest... It is... Uh, it is difficult to get level 4 walls, however... When you build a level 4 wall, it'll stay there permanently. If you build a level 3 wall, a raider might destroy it. So you end up replacing a lot of level 3 walls. However, if you build a level 4 wall, it'll stay there permanently and nobody can destroy it. So it's kind of... I wouldn't say that it's faster to build level 4 walls than level 3 walls by no means, but at least nobody destroys them. And it'll take a while. You're not going to build a big base, a big level 4 base in, in a month. However, if you are planning to play this game for like over a year, then yes, you can build a decent base in a year, I think. Um, we got everything. I don't know why it took me quite a while to like double, triple check everything. But hey, we did it. This song is the soundtrack to the Bank Heist movie in India. It slaps, says Lila. Welcome to the stream. Yes, it's uh, the Emperor's new Nikes. Unless you pony up and buy them in the shop. Yeah, you can buy that stuff in the shop as well. But, yeah. L D O E raid. Nibe. Is it any good? Is it goop? Oh my goodness. That's already enough research, ladies and gentlemen. All it took is just three seconds to do the research, and that's it. And that is bloody it. Exiting the manual crafting accelerates the process, says Irfan. Okay. Cool. Okay, we didn't even need a C4 for this raid. We didn't even need to destroy any walls. We can just enter here and that's it. Absolutely beautiful base, ladies and gentlemen. Again, let's not judge it by its cover. What do you think of Frostborn and Cyric? The best game ever created. Period. Like, subscribe for more epic uh, opinions. Nothing here. However, I am going to get these iron plates and iron nails. But actually being serious about Frostborn, I said many times that Frostborn is a better, a more complicated and probably like a more rounded game than Last on Earth, but doesn't mean that I'm gonna play Frostborn. Frostborn. <laughs> I don't even know who plays Frostborn. Playing Frostborn. That is funny. Uh, cool. However, I am going to get these hatchets. Nothing, nothing. How about I open up some more chests here? 
Maybe I'll just soften all of them up. That way I'll be able to open them up quickly without even fighting any waves of zombies. There we go. Let's go for it. Uh, goop. Oh my goodness. Open it up. Goop. And more goop. That is it. Let's leave this place. So does this base get Sykes approval? Hmm. Thinking. Have you played Ranch Simulator? Nope. Like Salad Ranch, right? The Salad Ranch Simulator. I haven't played that one. Uh, I mean, we just got two Glocks from this raid. Does it really get Sykes approval for two Glocks? I don't think so. One and a half out of ten are people saying. People are saying one. One and a half out of ten. I think it's fine. But I I'm, I agree with your rating. I mean, so yeah, it does not get Sykes approval. This raid does not get Sykes approval. It is pretty goopy. How do you unlock multiplayer? I think you have to be level 100 and then you get an event that looks like a convoy event. You go there, you clear it, and then you can go to the uh, multiplayer. Uh, food, food, the beans. For free to play, this base is good. I would definitely disagree. If I got that base as a free to play player, it'd be very sad. I'd probably cry myself to sleep that day if, if that's the base that I got. Like nobody would be happy with that base. What do you mean? That, that's a good free to play base. It sounds like you've never raided in this game. If I had gotten that base on my, on my other account, I'd be very sad because it's a good base. Like I just got two blocks from it. Like wow. I get more stuff from a rest stop event than from that raid. So all of the all of the tasks that I've done for those raiders to get nothing. So yeah. That raid was goop. That raid was goop. And the gasoline. It's like, where are the 1,000 orange ticket bases now? I have no idea. Wouldn't be surprised if devs have removed those bases. But again, probably they're still there. I don't think they've done anything to those bases. I just wasn't lucky. Okay, how about I give them one more spear? Probably just one spear when they say not bad, you can do it when you want is enough. However, two spears is always better. Hey, Lolace, who wants to attack others' bases for a loot share? Okay, so let's respond to those raiders. You use more guns to get that raid than you got in return, yes. Absolutely. Are we gonna do another raid? Perhaps. We need to kill the blind one, which we can do. Then we need to deal with the 52 mic. Okay, we cannot do this. We can do that. However, I haven't done the... The, the, the commune event in a while. So how about we go and do that commune event right now? I'm like sick and tired of that community event. And I haven't even started doing it yet. And I don't want to go there. However, for the science, ladies and gentlemen. In the name of science. Let's do the, the worst event in the game. Oh like the worst event. Yo, Ladybug, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. It's been quite a while. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being a member for 35 months. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the support on the channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, hey, Psych just popped in to say hello and that I missed watching. New job, new schedule. No time to catch you live. Bummer. Uh, love you still. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck on your new job. Hopefully everything goes well there. Thanks for such a extended support on the channel. Really appreciate that. And yeah, hopefully your new job uh, rocks and you're happy there. And I'm happy to hear that 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 you're here so we are going to i forgot what we're going to do now i'm prepping the guns but i don't know what i'm prepping them for oh for the community event absolutely so yeah ladybug you're you're in time for the community event <laughs> and all right the community event one of the worst events in the game 
more of the front. There won't be any more of the front videos. No more of the front. Okay, let's get this set. And I have upgraded all the guns. Let's just get some carrots. And let's begin. Do a poll how many people watch your stream on mobile and PC. I think... Like here, I can just probably guess right now. At least 70% for mobile. Probably like 20 PC and 10% or something from TV. So hey, I'm gonna do a poll. Actually, I'm curious. Uh, where are you watching this? Um, that is it. By mobile, guys, I also mean tablet. It's like, I watch on tablet. Tablet is mobile. Should have added there. In any case, doesn't matter. Let's go to the community event. That was a fun poll. And let's hop here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. I watch your stream from a DVD player. How does that work? I watch from TV and write from my phone. Excuse me? But that's a good way to watch the stream. It's the best way to watch the stream. Oh wait, that's it. I don't even have to talk to these guys. Okay. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Okay, this dude is here. So we can just begin then the community event. Let's just start it. We got everything. We can probably do like one wave here in this community event. Without guns and without really using a lot of healing items, like just with machetes. So doing one wave here is pretty easy, but then going for the second wave isn't very, very smart. Say so with the poll here, what device are you watching this stream on? It looks like 60% of you are saying on mobile, which I said will be 70%. So I kind of, I was almost right then. 30% PC and 4% TV and 4% another. Okay. All right, all right, understandable. Have a nice day. I'm surprised that there are more people. I didn't expect that there will be that many people watching on PC. Okay, maybe shouldn't have even killed that parasite. It would have just exploded. Also, there will be a spitter crawling out of somewhere. Okay, now we're getting more damage. Okay, another wave done, and let's go for the last wave here. This is going to be... Whatever, let's go for the pills. Whoa! Well, I probably just lost a lot of armor. Just from that spit. However... It is what it is. Oh my goodness. Again, I forgot. Stupid bloody spitter. It's been quite a while since I've done this place, this event. So I keep forgetting about those stupid bloody spitters. So that is it. We have cleared this event. We can claim the rewards. I'll take that. Plus, we've gotten some points towards the season pass. All right. Then let's do another event. That's the, the less annoying event. Actually, is it less annoying? Oh, both of those events are annoying. I hate the community event. Waste of supplies, in my opinion. Yeah, the community event is horrible. Like, it is the worst event in the game. I nearly forgot you're here. Okay. Okay. Am I ready? 
I am ready. Let's go for the wave number one. Look at the rewards. They're just horrible. Bad. Like, bad, bad. Not bad, like, a little bit bad. They're just, like, bad, bad, bad. Okay, maybe they will drop here now. Yes, they will. And after this, it'll drop here. Okay, it drops there, drops there, there, there. Then it drops here. It goes counterclockwise. Here, guys, now it'll drop here on the head. Boom. In any case, we dealt with this wave. And my armor is about to be destroyed. So how about we get another armor? That won't be enough. I'll have to get another armor from the inbox. 10 out of 10 investment. It's Goop Guy. The, the settlement, not the settlement, but the community event is the worst investment. <sighs> Let's go. I don't like this event. You shouldn't like it. It's a, it's a horrible event. Nobody should like this event. It is bad. If it maybe didn't have the timer, like it has a two minutes timer here. If it didn't have the timer, it would be a lot easier. A lot better. Okay, it's gonna drop here now. Alright. Now there will be a bunch of zombies here. Okay, now some of them will come here. Except they're destroying my armor. Okay, now there's another wave. Go on, drop on the head. Yeah, the second wave is also doable. The third wave is always more difficult. Don't remind me of the extraction event. I loved the extraction event, all right? I'm sad that it's gone. I don't know why they removed that extraction event, but it was great. That extraction event was... was great. Uh, all right, let's go for one more wave. Let's risk it for the VSS. Some people risk it for the biscuit. I risk it for the VSS. Okay, it's gonna drop here now. Except it's pointless. There's only one zombie. As the berserker, the berserker hits like a truck. And yeah, we need now, we need now better gun to heal up. Dude, look at the first aid kids go. Dude, I only have three first aid kits left. Spore spreader, berserker. It wasn't this slow. Dude. Dude, just let me shoot them! I can't even shoot them! Without getting hit and I have only eight seconds left. It's at uh, two seconds left, but hey, somehow, some way we did this. Whew, we did this thing, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Let's claim all of these rewards. There we go. Now let's go to the even worse event. I hate the Camino. I died here like less, like 10 times. Yeah, this is a bad event. You shouldn't do it. And this thing is even worse. Brute Force also has its advantages. That's what I'm planning to do. I'm trying to brute, brute force everything. Okay, let's get rid of this garbage AK because it's broken. Wait, was I able to claim those rewards because I wanted to get a, what, a VSS, but I didn't get it. Where's my VSS? Did it go to the inbox? I might have not taken the loot there. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Or I have the VSS, I just don't see it. No, I don't have the VSS. 
Are you planning to make more videos on Surrounded? Maybe in the future? I don't know. Today's ritual is completed. So the inventory was full, but I don't think the VSS got sent to the inbox as it would have been shining now. It would be like blue. It would be highlighted as all of your new items are highlighted in the inbox until you see them. Hmm. Interesting. Probably it's in the inbox. I'm just going to assume that's in the inbox. But it usually doesn't allow you to take stuff if your inventory is full. Your VSS is lost as the bag is full. But it's not supposed to let you take it. I remember I've done this community event on my free-to-play account a while ago. And I couldn't take anything because my inventory was full. So I clearly remember sorting out my inventory and deleting things that I don't need just to be able to get the reward. So how did I get this thing here? And it just disappeared. I got scammed. Yep, totally got scammed. Got absolutely scammed. In any case, I'm not surprised. I couldn't even get my rewards from this event. That's uh, they're just stealing my my things. Okay. I mean, the first few waves are easy. The other ones are difficult. Sometimes I just have to wait until he attacks those zombies and then I can just pick up the... kill them. Okay. Okay, I stole some of the kills from him. Go and attack it. Stole the kill. That's it, we did it. So the first wave was... Very doable. Because there weren't that many of them, so we can, like, easily steal the kills. Okay, we are already at four zombies. It's like, what should I have for lunch today? New suggestions. I have no idea. I'm probably... I should be the last person to ask for food suggestions. I recently discovered lentils. I mean, I knew of lentils, but I just discovered that they're pretty cool. So I'm kind of like experimenting with lentils currently. I eat them a few times a week. So that's kind of my newest food that I've discovered. Well, not really. I knew of them before. I've eaten them before, but just like kind of rediscovered them again. Oh, Lord. We need to kill more zombies and just look at that. And we have 20 seconds. Okay, we need two more schmucks. Okay, now I just need to run here and let's deal with one more bloodthirsty pest. And we did it. Wow. The second wave was already difficult. Is gonna get destroyed absolutely destroyed so how about i get already another one yeah that's why this event is horrible i brought so many guns and guess what i used up half of them unbelievable okay let's get the ak's was the tier list already made yes it was done at the very beginning Four zombies. I don't know. Probably the dude stole some of them. Another disease wolf. Another disease wolf. Oh. If they didn't just go for me. This event is so unfair. All of these zombies just go after me. And this dude steals my kills. It's such a stupid event. Huh. He just stole those easy kills. Go and attack it again. Again! Again! Oh my goodness, he stole that kill. Schmuck! Can 
Okay, I'll deal with a bloodthirsty first. Bell zombie. Okay, we did that. This wave was actually easier than the other one, just because we had a fully modded AK. Okay, that is it. Let's claim all of these rewards. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the community event. That's the full community event. What do I think about it? It's good. I also got scammed here and I didn't get my VSS even though I asked for a VSS and they didn't give it to me because it just dis it just disappeared. Unbelievable, that's all I have to say. Whatever, let's leave this. This this community event then. It is bad. We used up like God knows how many guns and we got nothing in return. Why did you choose lens instead of sweat armor? What is lens? Doesn't really matter what armor, they're all the same. It protects and it's good enough. It's like, have you played Project Zomboid? It says cylindrical canister of glue. What a, what an interesting name. Yes, I have played Project Zomboid on the channel. I've made a live stream, maybe even two live streams. I've made a video here and there. So yeah, I have played some Project Zomboid. Oh, now we're gonna drop goop. See, this junk crate helps me sort out the inventory so quickly. Actually, wait, I don't even need to drop those things because we're gonna go kill the blind one now. Because that's what raiders want me to do, right? We need to go and kill the blind one, so let's do it. Let's kill the blind one and then we can go for another raid. More 60 seconds. I don't know if there will be more 60 seconds. I've already gotten like two endings. There are probably more endings. Maybe someday we'll play 60 seconds again. But I don't know. Yo, suspect bro, welcome to the stream. The melee weapons. Let's get rid of them. Bro, they don't even fit. That stuff doesn't fit. Okay, so this chest is already full. I'm gonna get rid of the torch. Okay. We have these guns. And how about we get a shotgun? One. We are running out of shotguns. So I'm gonna save that shotgun just for the blind one. And that's it. I'll use the other weapons to get to the blind one. That's it. That's what we'll do. Tag, do you have a true friend, Husky, or a true friend, Rottweiler, Doggos? Please answer me, says Alexander. The answer is no. No means like, hey, I'll answer you. And uh, no, I don't have any Doggos, any Huskies, and any Rottweilers, true friend, Doggos. Have you stopped grinding the settlement? I've already grinded it today. different in function Duggos says Unjenai. I don't know. I know Rottweiler Duggos last longer. They're better than the normal true friend Duggos, but I still don't have it. Okay, now we're gonna activate the heart mode and we're gonna kill the blind one there. Do the laboratory. We're not gonna do the laboratory today. We've done enough laboratories. Plus to clear the lab it takes like over an hour. So but we're not clearing the laboratory unless it's in hard mode and we have enough equalizers then we can clear the laboratory with just equalizers with the active whatever park that lets me shoot the equalizer without missing
you think they'll do something with the sun at the lab sometime in the near future? What is the sun in the laboratory? I don't know. Oh, with the sub you meant. You said the sub now. Uh, I don't know. Action hero. Yes, it's called action hero. But yeah, I don't know if they'll do anything with the... With the sub. Whoops. Kill the icebreaker for the memes. We've already killed them for the memes a few times. Now we're gonna kill the blind one for the memes. Will Last Dinner have a Halloween event this year? Yes, it will. Like the zombies and change that follow you. It was very cool. It's been 84 years since the Halloween event. Have a great day. I think we had a Halloween event a year ago. But yeah, I think there will be a Halloween event because developers have recently posted a Halloween teaser. So I think there will be a Halloween event. Forlorn Halloween edition says Summer Ant. Maybe. All right, let's get now to the blind one. I do have one shotgun. I should start maybe saving them. Maybe we have more shotguns in the inbox. So if I'll ever need, shot need shotguns, I'll use those. But yeah, we did have like an entire rack of those shotguns and now I've been using them left and right. So we have less of them now. show weapon mods. Make sure to check out my video about the mods. Just go on YouTube, type LDOE Cyric Mods. And there are two videos where I show everything I know about the mods. And it shows everything you need to know as well. Like which mods to craft, which mods to avoid. It's like I gotta let you know two hours ago I just finished your Days Gone series and it was awesome. Thank you very much for the series, says Mohammed to Johnny. I'm glad that you enjoyed the Days Gone series. Thanks for watching them. I miss Days Gone. It was probably like my one of my favorite uh, zombie survival games. It had an epic story. It had everything. It was great. It had an awesome graphics, epic story. It had like literally everything. Sick gameplay. Insane zombie hordes. Should I recycle the full durability firearms at level 20? No. Why you would do that? Oh, well, I got stuck there! I told my character to move, but the dude didn't. Okay, how about I... Heal up now fully. I'm gonna heal up now fully though, but that's better. Okay, let's activate this. So it's time to farm woods as suspect row. No! No, Days Gone stream maybe. Maybe we'll play Days Gone one day on the stream. We'll see. Thanks for the mod video. It shows the best mods uh, for max effects as uh, Regal. I'm glad you watched that video and found it useful. Project Zomboid, your thoughts? I have played it on the channel. It's it's cool. It's a cool but very complicated game. Does a true friend doggo ever pee on trees? Yes, it does. What happened to Day Z? Uh, just what happens to every other series on the channel? There we go. We dealt with the blind one. How are you playing last on Earth and PC? Are you using BlueStacks? You can't use BlueStacks. I'm using Mimu Player, but you can use BlueStacks as well. You can use whatever Android emulator to play last on Earth and it'll work. Probably. A 
about Daisy on on Daisy on Steam, but honestly, I don't know what to do there. I mean, what's the point of it? Uh, it's a it's a multiplayer survival game. You have to survive. Feels like I wasted 24 euros on it. I mean, if you if you don't have two hours yet, you can refund it. But you have more than two hours, then there's that. Also, if you don't have 14 days, I guess. And uh, I mean, Daisy is a slow game. It's you loot. You spawn, you loot, you search for better gear, you fight, you search for better guns, you kill players there when you find them, when you meet them, you kill those players, you get their gear. And you survive there for as long as you can, as eventually you will die there as well as somebody will kill you there. And rinse and repeat. It's an interesting game because it takes... It's hard to get loot, but once you get that loot, you kind of don't want to die. Because if you die, you will lose everything. However, it's... It's nice to kill other players because you know that they have the same feeling as well. So that's what kind of Daisy is about. Uh, how did you get carbon composites before the Bunker Bravo event? You need carbon composites to make modded guns. Uh, before you could get them from the police department from purple crates. Maybe even blue crates. Yeah, purple and blue crates you could get carbon composites, but then they removed them. And then I've cleared Bunker Bravo an insane amount of times. So that's why we have a lot of carbon composites. Yes, yeah, survival, no, but you can't build a base. You can just stockpile guns and things, but it feels like everything is pointless. Kill people and then what? No achievements, no upgrades, just nothing. Uh, I mean, that's what DayZ is about. Not every game is supposed to be like, oh, build a base. If I'm not mistaken, you can also build a base in DayZ, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's only on modded servers. But yeah, DayZ, I, from what I understand, it's not about building a base. It's about getting loot and surviving as long as you can there. I mean, again, if that, that's not something that interests you, then probably rip. You're probably not going to enjoy that game, but that's the kind of game it is. So I'm like, last night, what's the point of last night? Like, what do you do here? You gather loot, you save up as much loot as you can. Same thing with Daisy, you save up loot, except you can't build a base there. Uh, we need to get three guns. I have to give it a try, however, stockpiling loot in No Man's Sky is much better and much more enjoyable. I mean, No Man's Sky doesn't have PvP, right? I mean, DayZ is all about kind of PvP. You can kill players there with a Glock. Or with like a pistol, if you're lucky. Um, all the guns will go there. Uh, Daisy is only interesting when PvP happens. Other than that, it's a walking simulator for me. Yeah, I mean, that's what Daisy is about, and people. Some people like those kind of games. Same thing like Last Dinner. Last Dinner is a Bunker Alpha simulator. Some people play Last Dinner. Same thing with DayZ. One, two, three. Now uh, let's drop that here. Are there any other tasks? A C4, another C4. Oh, we also have some of these packs here, so let's open it up. 
So this is about killing players. Interesting. I guess I don't enjoy that genre that much. But I will not let that 24 euros ride there on my account. Yeah, as I said, if you don't have two hours yet, you can... You can get a refund. But yeah, Daisy is absolutely about PvP. Okay, let's complete this. Last on Earth fuels my life, says Born Sauce. I don't know if that's sad or that's great. I'm just gonna say that probably that's great then. <laughs> let's get a hatchet. Two, three, four, five. Can you show us your settlement progress? I don't have a settlement. I haven't unlocked it yet. And that's how, ladies and gentlemen, you avoid going to the settlement. Uh, this, let's upgrade the guns. Transport hub after the raid, perhaps we'll see. This raid is gonna be a 7 out of 10, says show. Alright, let's see. If it's a 7 out of 10 or a 0 out of 10 raid. Something tells me that it's a 0 out of 10 raid. But we'll see. What are the best thing to do in last or late game in your opinion? Uh get another game, I guess. I don't know. In late game. Depends late game. If you have the if you have everything, just keep grinding. I don't know. What are the best thing to do in last and late game? Raiding bases. And clearing Bunker Bravo and getting your ATV. Enjoying life, touching grass. I don't know. LDOE raid player 8963. What? Maybe I was right. Um, bag of to the base I go. Maybe some Rubik's Cube. Maybe we'll do a little bit of Rubik's Cube. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see. It's like the front video went. There won't be any more the front videos. There won't be any more the front videos. It was just a one-time thing. Okay, I'm gonna enter this base from over here. Okay, goop. Okay, didn't mean to chop down this chest. I wanted to chop down a wall, whatever. We're gonna chop down that wall from over here then. Oh, there's one more chest here. Okay, we have gotten some first aid kits. A little bit. Okay, we're not taking that canned food bag home. We don't have space for it. Do you want to the suburbs? You cannot go to the suburbs. Let's go to the electronics. Take the beans if you don't have space, then delete them later. I could delete them right now if I could. I'm not gonna take them because I know I don't have space for the beans. And even if I did, I don't take the beans anymore because they're garbage. They give an empty can, which is fine. You can recycle that empty can. You can get a uh, scrap metal. You can then smell that scrap metal. However, we don't have to do that on this account. We get our loot from raids. So the beans just create clutter in my base. So I've upgraded from beans. I no longer eat beans. I only eat carrots. That's my raid. Gold, let's get that gold. Somebody mentioned gold, I'll get the gold. Gold, 10 out of 10. Yes, indeed. So that is it. That was the raid. 
<laughs> the best loot that we've gotten were 15 first aid kits. I don't know if that's enough for the Cyrix approval. We've definitely had worse races and Barity, uh, worse raids before. But yeah. I should get the berry tea for the another stage of Forlorn. At least just five cups. Better than nothing. I'll give the meat to the Douglas as well. Before he built an entire rack of steel. An entire rack and steel room for beans. It was like that. Well, since you didn't use a C4, I would give it a 3 out of 10. I wouldn't really give it a 3 out of 10. I'd still I'd give it like a 1 out of 10 max. As, as yeah, it was, it took a while to complete all of those tasks. Just killing the blind one and other stuff like takes time. So yeah, I don't think this raid was worth it. However, we're not doing raids for these kind of goopy raids. We're doing raids because once in a while you will get a jackpot. And then those jackpot raids make those goopy raids worth it. Okay, let's get that meat and let's give it to the doggos. Because why not? Okay, so 15, 14 meat will probably last for like 10 minutes. 56 minutes? My mind is blown. They'll feast tonight. They're they're absolutely feasting. Um, the fuel goes here. This, this, this. Okay, I don't have space for the tea. Okay, we're gonna delete the carriage then for the first aid kits. And beans for this. There we go, we did it. Now we have even more space. work on the barracks. I've already worked on them. Thanks for the for the suggestion. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Let's drop it here. And I guess we did it. Wait, I haven't paid the raiders yet. I haven't paid those schmucks. Had to beat that up. Okay, let's pay them with a spear. There we go. They're obviously happy with it. Okay, let's see what other tasks they want me to do. Feed the beans to the doggo. Sadly, they don't eat the beans. If they were eating beans, I would definitely be feeding them those beans. For sure. You will sleep peacefully tonight because of that great raid. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, we need to kill another Revenger and more goopy things. Understandable, have a nice day. However, we got to go to the settlement and at least collect daily loot. Why don't you upgrade the boxes? For that, we need a bunch of uh, ash planks and they take a lot of time to get. How about the daily loot? There we go. Thank you very much. Wait, and that's not it. I want... Where's charcoal? First of all, this thing is empty. Wait, if they disappeared, does this stuff go in the inbox? I don't even know. Do we have more than 300 planks? We have almost a thousand planks here. Wow. We have also a lot of iron. That's good. Okay, I need to go back to the base to get some charcoal. It's like, what's the new update? We still don't have a new update. So there's that play the long dark, says Demarcus. We've already played the long dark on the channel.
I have like probably at least 20 videos in the lung dog. Like easy. Pulling out that number out of thin air, but I'm sure it's more than 20. Uh, this iron, let's get some charcoal. We barely had some. That's great. Okay, let's cook some more charcoal then. It's like, do something on the free-to-play account. I mean, what are we going to do there? There will be some free-to-play live streams soon, but I don't know the exact date when. But there will be some free to play live streams. All right, let's do some of these workbenches uh, here. Oh no, I didn't get planks. Bruh, maybe we have planks in the inbox. If not, I'll have to run all the way back up to get some planks from the settlement. Okay, we do have some planks here. Do you mind playing Dying Light 2 or did you play it? I have already played it. I have already played uh, Dying Light 2. And the Dying Light 2 DLC. The Arena DLC. Okay, let's drop some of the stuff here. Um... That'll go that way, and this goes here. That is it. We worked a little bit on the settlement here as well. People keep asking about free-to-play, but I would rather watch Waze Guns. I can't watch hours of wall chicken. It's boring. And I agree with you. And that's true. Like, people ask for free-to-play, but they don't really watch free-to-play either. Even the free-to-play videos now get less views because people don't want to see more free-to-play. Because the free-to-play is goop, like, who wants to watch me Waltrig Bunker Alpha for the thousandth time with with Spears? Like, there's nothing to see there anymore. However, there will be more for you to play. We'll see how it goes. Mimu is installing. I mean, again, I didn't tell you to install Mimu player. You do what you gotta do. A Dying Light 2 or Dying Light? Dying Light had a better, more memorable story, but I did like Dying Light 2 as well. I liked both of those games. And uh, yeah, and on this note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will be wrapping it up. So thanks everybody for joining. See you tomorrow with another live stream. We are going to probably play some Sunken Land. I'm excited for that. Uh, there's still a bunch of islands for us to explore. We have, we're like nine hours in Sunken Land. So yeah, there are still many more things for us to do. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining. See you tomorrow with another video and another live stream. Will we do more videos on the front? Says Wordy. Thanks for the super chat. And there won't be any more videos on the front because the front video performed pretty poorly. So people didn't really want more of the front. So I don't think there will be more of the front videos. However, my uh, job was to share the game with you guys. To show you that hey, there is the game the front. I played it. That was my first impressions and that's it. So I'm just going to wait until this thing now pops here on the stream from Wardy. So yeah, thanks Wardy for the for the super chat. But yeah, I did enjoy the front. Speaking of the front, I did like it. It does remind me a lot of Ark Survival. It's like almost like Ark Survival with just a bit different skins. So yeah, Wardy. Thanks once again for the super chat. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the support. And uh, yeah, see you later, guys. See you tomorrow with another uh, Sunken Land video. Livestream, actually. Take care, guys. And peace out. See you tomorrow with a, in Sunken Land. Take care, guys.